Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of the Minecraft tutorial series. The series where I'm going to be guiding you through a game called Minecraft. Last episode we looked at where you could purchase Minecraft from, how you could install future beta releases of snapshots, and how to install a lightweight mod that just allows you to get better performance out of your game. We're not going to worry about that in this episode because what I want to teach you in this episode is how to set up your world, how to survive through the first day, how to craft basic tools, and how to interact with the game. When you load up Minecraft, you are greeted immediately with this screen. Now, there's a few buttons here and pretty much all of them are self-explanatory. I will do an episode detailing how to play multiplayer with your friends if that's something that you want to do. And I'll leave it in the icons up above as soon as I release that episode. But we're going to focus on single player. And all we're going to do is left click this button to bring up this screen. Now. Here is a list of your worlds. You can see my three worlds, but you may have absolutely nothing here. It may be completely blank because if you haven't started a world, there are going to be none here. So let's have a little look at this interface. Up here, this big black bar here, this allows you to search through your world. So if I was to type in new, it's going to bring up all the worlds that have new in them. And it's just an easy way to filter through your worlds. Now, we're going to pretend like you do not have a world here. So, we are going to look at the buttons that are going to be available to us if we don't have worlds here. The place selected world is greyed out, so is the edit, the delete, and the recreate button. However, the create new world button isn't. We can actually press this. And again, we are using the left click for all of this. Pretty self-explanatory. It's how you would normally interact with the computer so far. Now, we're brought up with a couple of other options. So... Let's have a look at the world name. This can be absolutely anything that you want it to be. We're going to call it Tutorial World. It's going to be the Tutorial Series. But you could call this absolutely whatever you want. The next bit we're going to look at is Game Mode. And Minecraft has a handful of game modes. And the game mode that we're going to be playing through is Survival. Survival means that we will have to gather resources. We will have to deal with hunger. And we'll have to deal with hellstyle mobs. Then you've got hardcore, which is the exact same as survival, exactly the same, only you only get the one life and it's on the hardest difficulty. But there is one more game mode. The other game mode is creative. In creative, you'll be able to fly around the world, no problem. You will have every single block at your disposal as and when you want them. You don't have to deal with hunger, you don't have to deal with mobs, pretty much. If you don't want to go through survival, this is the game mode for you. But now we're going to look at the more world options. And this brings us up another handful of options. I know, geez, so many options. The seed is how your world will generate. There are websites, and I will link one down below, where you can go and you can have a look at what your world is going to look like before you even generate it. And then you'll be able to copy that string of numbers and insert it here. So you can insert any numbers and any letters that you like here. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to call this guide. Again, you don't have to put anything here. If you leave this completely blank, the world will still generate. The next bit we're going to look at is generating structures. Now, in your world, you'll have villagers, dungeons, and strongholds, various different structures they will spawn in around your world. To get the most out of survival Minecraft, we are going to want to leave this option on. We are going to want to be able to find villagers. We are going to be wanting to be able to find dungeons and all of the other kind of structures that we will find. Now, the next option is the world type. and We've got loads of different world types here, but I'm only going to cover two in the beginning of this tutorial because, to be honest, these are the two that you are likely to pick. And we are going to look at default and large biomes and these two are practically identical your world is still going to generate however you want it to generate with the seed the only difference is 
it's going to be slightly bigger with large biomes. So Minecraft breaks down the world into something called biomes and each biome has its various resources. The large biome it increases that so if you're wanting to go huge mega builds you might want to have large biomes but it does mean that we have to travel further to get certain resources. If we want snow we're going to have to travel to a snowy biome and we may not spawn in a snowy biome. This doesn't change the end world size. Minecraft worlds are practically infinite regardless of world type, so don't worry too much about that. Now, the next two options we're going to look at are down here, and these are to allow cheats on or off, and to turn the bonus chest on or off. Now, if you're starting Minecraft for the first time, I would strongly encourage you to turn the bonus chest on. This isn't going to change your game experience much. All it is going to do is it's going to give you a chest at the beginning of the game with a handful of random items in it. These will be things like apples, so you have a source of food, a pickaxe, maybe an axe, various tools to help you get on your way. It is much easier if you're playing for the first time just to turn this on. When I started playing Minecraft, I used to put this on all the time. Just some of the items that it gives you can be really useful in the early game. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave this off because I want to teach you how to craft the different tools. And the last option we're going to look at is cheats. Now, cheats don't necessarily mean cheats. This just gives us a whole bunch of additional options. One thing that Minecraft does is you can light a fire on any block you want. And that fire will burn for a set amount of time before it burns out. If we put cheats on, we can then turn something called fire tick off, which means that when we make fires and we light stuff, they will burn forever until we decide to put them out. It's also worth having cheats on in case something happens in your world, say a bug or a mistake, something like that. There's always the option to go into sort of like creative mode and fix the issue. Now, I normally play with cheats on because I like to have that option open to me should there be something in the game rules that I want to change. So once we've done all of this, we can click done and go back to this screen or we could just skip clicking done and just click create a new world. It is going to do the same thing, but if we were to click done and click create a new world, it's going to do the exact same thing. So here we are. We are inside a Minecraft survival world and you may be eager to look around this Minecraft world like so. You know, we've got oh, we, we spawned in quite a nice place. We got some spruce wood over there, some oaks and birch. This is actually a really good spawn. I, I, I'm really happy with this, but hang on a minute. I'm looking around the world. How do I do that? Well, this is very, very easy. All you have to do is move your mouse. If you want to look left, move your mouse left. Same for right. If you want to look up, move it up or away from you and down. Move it closer to you or down. Very, very simple. Now, I know that there are some people that might be just buying Minecraft for the first time and getting into gaming for my, with Minecraft for the first time. And this may be new to them. So if you if it's new to you, just go around and have a little use. Get used to looking around your world. Don't worry too much. Now, if you are struggling with getting to grips with anything in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little trick to do in the early game. If you were to press the escape key, it's going to bring up the menu. And again, using the left click function, click options and the difficulty here. This is going to be the difficulty of your world. If you're struggling at any time, turn this to peaceful. This will mean that you don't get hungry and it will also mean that hostile mobs won't bother you once the nightfall starts. You could change this at any time so long as you don't press this padlock function. So now we're going to look at moving around our world. And we move around our world by using four different keys. The W, A, S, D keys. Now if you're a gamer, you'll be familiar with these keys and know that you could just simply do this using these keys. But if you're not familiar with them, I'm going to show you on the screen now. The W key, well, that will move you forward no matter where you're facing. So we could just move forward. We can then use the mouse to turn if we want to go around in different areas. It might just be if you're new to gaming, walking around just holding the W key might be a good way to get used to this. Then we've got three other keys. We've got the A key, and this just allows us to move to the left. Now, I'm going to be a little bit careful because I don't want to go into the water. But the A key allows us to move to the left. The D key, it allows us to move to the right. So we can move to the right easily enough. 
and the S key allows us to move backwards. Again, if you've played any game of any type, then you're going to already know this stuff. What happens if, oh no, I've fallen in the water. I, I, I can't get up this block. How do I do this? Now, chances are you've got auto jump already enabled on your game. It's on by default, but I turn it off. If we want to go up a block high, this is the block. If we want to go up one block, all we have to do is press the space key and forward. So the space key and forward, and that allows us to get out of the river. And the space key also allows us to jump, which is pretty much what we did to get out of there. Now, the next thing you might want to learn how to do is to sprint, which is this. This allows us to move around our world a lot quicker. And there's two ways that we can sprint. If you're new to gaming, then the W key, the forward key, just tap it twice in quick succession and we will start sprinting. The other way to do this is if you look on your keyboard, you've got a control key near your left hand. If you were to go forward and just press that, you will start to sprint. You don't need to hold it, you just need to tap it. The next thing that we're going to look at is starting to survive through Minecraft because the game is called Minecraft. And a big part of the game is mining things. And we can mine pretty much any block in the game. And the first thing that you're going to want to mine is a tree. Now, to mine a tree, like so, all you have to do is take the left click button and hold it down. Holding down the left click button will start to mine the block that you are looking at. Certain blocks require certain tools and we're going to get into that in a moment. Now, we can mine various different blocks using what's called a hand. And if we look, a hand is here. This is a hand. Obviously, when we mine a block, that block ends up in our hand. And, and how do we move across this hotbar down here? Well, that is super simple. There's one of two ways to do this. There's nine boxes here. And each box corresponds to a number on the keyboard. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through to nine. But I'm not doing that. What I use is a scroll wheel on the mouse. Just scrolling up and down will move it along. Now, there are certain blocks that we can mine using our hand, but there are certain blocks that we cannot mine. So I'm just going to sprint over here, and I'm going to look at this gray block here, and I'm going to mine this gray block. And, well, what? It didn't, it, it, it didn't drop anything. What happened? Well... That's because some blocks in this game require certain tools to mine. And we're going to look at tools now. now. Every tool that we craft has various upgrades. can go from wooden through to stone into iron, gold, diamond. And if you're playing in 1.16, even netherite, our tools can go through all of those stages. But we don't want to worry about upgraded tools right now. We're just going to look at basic tools and how to craft them. So... How do we craft in this game? If we were to press the E key, it is going to bring up this interface here. And he, you may have this little thing open at the side here. If you don't, just simply left click this. Now, to move anything about within this window like this, all we need to do is left click. Left clicking will put them pretty much anywhere that we want to put them. But I'm going to teach you a little bit about this interface real quickly. This here, this head, armor, chest plate, leggings and boots, this is where our armor goes. And we'll get into that in a later game. This is our offhand. We can put various different things in here, including torches, food and blocks. But we'll get into that more in a later episode. The next thing we have is this here. This bottom row is our hotbar. The same thing that we can scroll along at the bottom of the screen. This is our inventory. And we can move things around here just by left clicking. Now, another thing that we can do if we were to use the right click button while hovering over it, we're not clicking it, we're just hovering over it. If we were to press the right click button, that's going to split it down as best it can in half. Obviously, if the blocks are, don't go in half, like we can't half three evenly, it'll do a near enough comparison. And we can group certain blocks like oak logs together in a group. These will group together up to a maximum of 64. Then it will start to take up another inventory slot. The next thing we're going to look at is how to move just one. So if we left click this, we have the whole stack in our hand. 
the whole group of logs. A group is called a stack in Minecraft. And we were to right click anywhere, it'll just drop one. Now this may be useful later on when crafting, but it might just be useful just to go around and get used to placing one block and just getting familiar with the way the button system works in Minecraft. But now we're going to get into basic tools. And for that, we need to start crafting. And this up here, this 2x2 two two grid in the upper right of our interface is the crafting grid. And all we're going to do is take any wood. It doesn't matter if you've got oak log. But anyway, we're going to look at crafting now. And the first thing that we're going to want to craft is, well, a crafting table. A crafting table will allow us to craft so many more things and we're going to need it for our tools. So where do we begin with this? Well, if we look in the recipe book, we can see what we've got available to us and we don't have a crafting table available to us. However, we do have two other blocks. The block we want to go for is oak planks and all oak planks are is an oak log in the crafting table. Now this will work with any wood. If you were to mine yourself a bit of birch this is what this block is called here and do the same you will get the said logs planks this will give us birch planks and these don't stack together they are separate entities but that's okay so let's have a look at how i did that i right click one in here and i left click to take out i can put in four i can hold the shift button while left clicking to turn every single one of those into planks and I can group them together like so. So remember how I said we need a crafting table. We now have the recipe unlocked and available to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tick, click this so it shows a tick here. This will only show me recipes that I can craft with the things that I have in my inventory. Doesn't matter if they're in your inventory or in your hotbar, it still counts. This will still see it. So we're going to look at this crafting table because this is important to us. And this is made using four oak planks. Now, you can use any planks you want, but make sure they are planks and not logs. And you can even, if you like, use a mix match. It doesn't make a difference. It will always make the same crafting table. And we're just going to left click to pull that out of there. And then we're going to right click to place a block down. So we're going to look and we're going to right click to place this crafting table down because to use this or to use pretty much any block that allows us to do things outside of our inventory, we're going to need to right click. But you may be wondering, why do I need a crafting table when I have a crafting window? Well, this is two by two. The crafting table is three by three. And this is vitally important. Now, this is as high as a crafting goes. We can't get higher than a three by three. So don't start worrying that, oh, we're going to have like 10 by 10 grids. No. So we're going to look at basic tools and you can see that there are no tools here and that's okay. I'm going to teach you the basic tools now. So before we can even start to craft tools, what we need to do is we need to craft something else first and that is called sticks. Now you may actually get some sticks. If you were to chop down a tree, leaves will slowly disappear from this tree. They will slowly break and fall to the ground and you can get different things from leaves. You can get, oh, we just got a sapling. With saplings, you can simply right click and that'll grow into a new tree given enough time. Leaves will eventually drop sticks. I think we got one there, look. Now there are also ways to craft sticks in Minecraft and we're gonna look at that right now. So we're, we're gonna take planks and we're gonna put them on top of one another in the crafting table. Now, it's important to note that anything you can craft in this two by two grid you can also craft in the 3x3 grid. So we could craft ourselves sticks like so in this. We could also, if we so wanted to, craft ourselves another crafting table. So now we've got ourselves some sticks. You can see that we've got ourselves a bunch of tools available to us. And if we click this icon here, the second one down on the left, it's going to show us all of our different tools. So let's make all of these tools. We can make ourselves a sword. And to make a sword, all you do is one stick in the bottom, two planks on top of it. And this can go anywhere you like in the crafting table, as long as it is in this style. Now, most crafting recipes in Minecraft visually will represent what you're trying to build. So you can see this is a bit like a sword if we look at it. The next tool that we're going to craft ourselves up is a pickaxe. And this recipe, again, is super simple. It's just two sticks. 
in the center columns. Now we can't move these sticks about like we could with the sword because we can't fit this any other way in the crafting table. It won't let us do it sideways because it has to be vertically. So you can see it's three oak planks or any planks. These again can be mixed matched planks and two sticks and we can pull ourselves out a pickaxe. And we can do the same with an axe. And this recipe is two sticks and three oak planks like so. This one can be done in reverse like that. The next one we're going to do is a shovel. And this is very easy. And just like the sword, this can go pretty much anywhere we like in the crafting table to craft it. I've been putting things over here. I haven't been telling you how you do that. Well, it's super simple. You just left click. Just left click on whatever it is that you want to craft. Now, the last tool is a hoe and we are not going to get into this just yet. We're going to look at the functionality of all four of these tools very briefly. Now, the sword. The sword is great for slaying mobs. Now, we don't actually have any mobs around us. So, I have traveled across the water. Now, when we went in the water over there, we were just one block deep. This water is more than one block deep. So, if you do want to cross water and you go into water, you're always going to sink to the bottom of it. If you were to hold the space bar, you would flow on the top. Now, there are more water mechanics involved in this game, but I'm not going to get into them just yet. That'll come later in the series. I just want to teach you how to get through the water. As you can see, we've got a cow here, and to slay this cow, we need to use our sword. And to use our sword, all we do is left click. Now, unlike the mining of the trees where we had to hold left click, in this instance, we only need to tap it. So, a quick tap will slice our sword at it. And we can go again. It may take two or three whacks to kill this cow, but we can certainly get in there. Now, don't spam click it like this because you will deal very little damage. Make sure you hold the button for, I'd say, about a half second, possibly a second, enough to see the swinging animation go through. Now, that cow dropped us some beef and some leather. Don't worry if you didn't get any leather. Leather isn't a guaranteed drop, and drops aren't always guaranteed to get you what you want from certain creatures. However, this raw beef is a guaranteed drop from a cow. So now that we're back at our crafting table, we're going to look at the next tool in the list, and we're going to look at the axe. The axe allows us to chop trees down. Now, we could chop trees down before, but the axe allows us to do it a slight bit faster. So what we're going to do is hold the left click, not like the sword where we have to tap it or swipe it. With this, we're just going to hold the left click. Now, the axe does have a second function, logs. If we were to place the log down, we place logs just like we place the crafting table by using a right click. If we were to use the right click function of the axe, it would turn some blocks into stripped blocks. We can also use the axe to go ahead and mine the crafting table. Now the next tool on our list I'm going to look at is the shovel. And this is used for a lot of like ground blocks. So sand, grass. Now one thing to note if you aren't sure on what blocks to mine, I will show you what tool I'm using to mine them. I'll put like a little icon on the screen when we go through it so you always know. This is gravel. We use a, a shovel for this. This is stone. This is not gravel. This, you could tell it isn't breaking quite easy. And that's usually key to tell you that, okay, this isn't the right tool. But sometimes it can be a little bit misleading. But for the most part, it's a general rule to stick by. Now, to mine stone, all we need to do is hold the left click button to mine stone. Now, unlike the axe, there's no right click function of the pickaxe, but there is a right click function of the shovel. And this one's really cool. This allows us to turn grass blocks into something called a path block. And this is an amazing block. And we'll get more into this. So guys, that is how to get started in Minecraft. We've looked at how to set up your world, how to interact with the world around you, how to get basic tools, and what each function does. So now, what are we going to do between this episode and the next episode? I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get ourselves a stack or 64 logs of any type that you like. And then go ahead and get yourself 64 cobblestone. This will allow you to play around with the axe, to play around with the crafting table, to play around with the movement, and also to learn to mine. If, unlike me, you've spawned in a world that didn't have some stone next to it, you can always just start digging down a staircase. Now, don't dig down too far, 
and don't dig straight down dig down in a staircase pattern so very similar to like this and if you dig down far enough and it isn't too far it's usually about five or six blocks you'll stumble across some stone so guys that is gonna do it for this episode of the minecraft tutorial series where i guide you through a game called minecraft next episode we're gonna look at how to upgrade our tools from wood into stone and how to survive on a difficulty other than peaceful but guys if you've enjoyed the series and i just want to say thank you guys so much like at the time of recording this i've got over 80 views on the first episode of this series and it's a pilot episode zero and my channel gets usually somewhere between 5 and 15 views a video this one has like 80 it's for me it's amazing i've been putting so much more effort and time into youtube recently because the government's grounded me so i've got a bunch of time on my hands and it's really showing off so guys please continue that support i really do appreciate it it makes me so happy and i'm so glad that people are actually watching this series and the, and the retention rate is really good along it as well so that's brilliant but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this episode if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more from this series go ahead and leave a like it really helps out the channel i really do appreciate it so please do leave that like and click subscribe if you want to see more from me guys i'm casey i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye